Well, she's one of the best in the women's game now and historically, Valentina Shevchenko. She's already got a UFC Flyweight Championship to her credit, and she will look to bolster her legacy yet again here tonight. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their uh -huh. hip? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's the first. She's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully. And if you overextend or you attack too quickly, she will finish you on the feet and she can also finish you on the ground. Just a phenomenal mixed martial artist is Valentina Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his midsection. <laughs> it won't right? show, it won't show under the back. <laughs> champion you cannot rest on your laurels and she certainly has not done that she has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she's, she is such a long reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, so here is Holly Holm. You know she's worked dutifully on the wrestling and the grappling, but the takedowns haven't materialized yet in the UFC. In this matchup, it would behoove her to get the opposition down. We'll see if that's how she approaches this challenge tonight. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. Oh, nice job by the kickboxer there to stay upright. That kickdown attempt would have put her on the floor earlier in her mixed martial arts career. She's working hard. Yeah, she's working very hard at getting better, but you can see the awareness now. Her understanding of how to move defensively whenever she gets hit with a takedown attempt. Beautiful to see her evolution inside the octagon. Right back in the clinch. Look at her backhand to get very active. She lands a nice leg kick here. Nice 
nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Shevchenko looking very comfortable on the feet as usual, and a lot of that just comes from spending her entire career under her first and longtime head coach, Pavel Fedor. Shoot for the takedown here. Big punch land. Just over three minutes now to go. She closes the distance and gets a single call. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. That was a jab. It's time to look for that takedown now. Shevchenko's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Everything's landing with so much power. Oh, nice. Oh, Superman punch. Good shot, good shot. Under two minutes now to go. Big kick lands. up the numbers here 28 total strikes have connected for Holly Holm on oh, instinctive land there as she goes to the jab DC nicely done that jab is stopping her in her tracks she's not only a range finder she is really damaging her opponent behind the jabs She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said that was in the game plan. Let's work every part of the body right now. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. But she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Nice, good she got that single collar tie. Just misses with a left hook there. Home gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, big elbow. starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh at all. You've got to do a better job of addressing it and deter your opponent from going back to the well. Because otherwise, it'll just get worse and worse. Oh, Round two straight ahead. Take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. And here we go with our second round. Holly Holm versus, of course, Valentina Shevchenko. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round was a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. That was a big check. Home gets caught by the inside leg. Trying to hammer that lead leg. 
All right, so she lands another leg kick there, and now you're starting to really see visible damage on the other side. I'm not sure how many more of these she can take. She will take any more. You'll start to see her fall to her back, try to engage the grapple, because she will not be able to get any weight on her front leg, which will make her stationary and be in very much, and be in a lot of danger to get caught with something hard up the top. Just unable to quite find that range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Valentina Shevchenko. Well, she keeps prioritizing that calf kick, and now her opponent's calf starting to show signs of bruising. She just took them. She had to check them before they started to accumulate. She's starting to really struggle with that calf kick. best strike and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class but she lands and she lands very effectively that one landed clean that leg kick hurt trying to establish that jab once again three minutes now to go in this one Nice job mixing up the tempo there as she lands to the thigh yet again. And now we're starting to see some visible damage on her opponent. Yeah, you see the damage now. You can see that it wasn't one leg kick that caused the issue. It took many of them. But now you're going to start to see her have a hard time walking. Look for a stance switch pretty quickly. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Lands the grounded bounce strike here. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters up right. Gotta be careful there. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. I like what she was trying to do there with the counter, but the left punch misses. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Shevchenko's cut, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. Oh, nice jab. It got checked. So she backs up here and lets her opponent stand up. 30 seconds to go in round two. Nice. Nicely done. A swing and a miss by Holm. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Holly Holm's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, so the big moment in that previous round was the knockdown. We'll get you the replay now. DC, take us through it. She was able to get her chance. She was able to find her moment. She recognized that an opportunity presented itself. She took it and landed that beautiful knockdown.
Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Oh, high kick. Uppercut to the head, and instead it's blocked by Shevchenko. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. Trying to establish that jab. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, big kick for her there. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Another change, and there's the ensuing takedown. Beautifully done. Used a lot of good movement. Great defense from her back. Stepping over the mole here. She's nasty on the ground. And now she's cut her, and it looks like it excites her. Oh. Well, as usual, suffocating one from the top here by Hall. And very effective with the ground and pound. All things considered, pretty good defense off of her back here. She's avoiding a lot of these strikes. Oh, she's got her back. I need you to scramble. scramble. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, big shots from the top. Holly Holmes looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the field. The crowd's going crazy because they just saw two high-level grapplers mix it up on the ground. It was phenomenal to watch. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. Hook is there again. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking. And she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. Well, Holmes blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. He's got a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off the finish the fight. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Short time now in the round. Alright, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is gonna get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's gonna get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's gonna be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. 
always offensive. Lands a shot from the box. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that previous round, and she got knocked down. Didn't see that strike coming. No, she didn't see it coming. She had taken a lot leading up to that. It wasn't one strike that hurt her. It was an accumulation of the damage she had taken that put her in that spot. She's tough, but let's see if she can turn the action around as we go forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot lands. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Making all these shots count. <laughs> Shevchenko going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. things difficult for the opposition right now continuing to target that damaged nose and that last strike absolutely found the target in the clinch here but she's still able to land a huge punch to the head Shevchenko's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Straight punch lands. Well, this is not at all the way she expected it to go, at least when it came to the striking. She got knocked down earlier in the round, and I'm just not sure mentally or physically she's back in this fight. She hasn't held back. She's still trying to put herself back into the fight, mentally and physically. It's one thing to bounce back when she's getting knocked down from a physical standpoint. What type of mental toll did it take on her to get knocked down like she did earlier in the fight? Hammer fist here by Shevchenko. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. This will be the beginning of the end, Shev. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect them. Oh, she's got to keep pressing now. What an absolute war on a napkin in the center of the octagon. These women continue to stand and trade, and really both of them have landed at will all night. They both have landed. Neither has shown the best defense, but it makes for a real fun fight. They're battered, they're bruised, they're cut, they're beat up. Oh! She's officially wobbled now. Nice counter left there. Establish the jab here, nicely done by Holm. Well, DC, I know you're high on this fighter, but she is fading fast. She got stunned earlier in the round and physically just hasn't responded well since. She has not responded to adversity. 
you have to understand as a fighter, everything will not go according to plan. She has not done well in building back to where she was before she got hurt so bad early in the round. Just misses with the right. Oh, nice. Shevchenko's bleeding heavily from the mouth right now. Cut man can only do so much with a cut on the lip, and it's only getting worse by the minute. All right, so she attempts another takedown here. Pretty good entry to get inside, but he never finished the job. Not very confident in the finish, and you can see it in the hesitation from entry to finish, and that's why she is getting defended. Well, Holmes High appears to be closing up by the second. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so with some urgency, the cut man making his way into the octagon as she heads back to the stool. That is a nasty cut that she is dealing with. All right, so that's the end of the round, and you got to think at some point the blood becomes something that the fighter focuses on. The cut on the lip is not getting any better. Blood in and around that mouth area, and a definite source of adversity here as we hit this next round. Well, she's dealing with a pretty big cut now. We'll see if we can isolate exactly where it happened in that previous round. Man, she took way too many shots in round one. She was not being responsible defensively, and ultimately she was paying for it because now she's having a real tough time dealing with that cut. Shevchenko's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Nice job landing that kick. Oh, there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. She missed with that jab. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, that oh! Beautiful diamond strike lands. We might get a stoppage here. Like that! Like that! She's setting up an armbar here. Armbar. What a tight armbar. Good is that? Great job making her opponent recognize she's not gonna just lay on her back. She's still being offensive. What a strike by her there from the bottom. She's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, trip off to a side, re-slide in that half guard so that now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, Take your underhook, get back to your feet, or fully recover full guard. Shevchenko's mouth is just pouring blood. I'm not sure I've ever bled that much in my entire life. This is getting out of hand. Seems like even some of the fans right now. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How's she gonna try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Well, I'm not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a finish, or she's not going to win this fight. Well, she needs a finish. She's taking a beating. I mean, she's fatigued. She's exhausted. She sees a fighter that has gotten the best of her. I can understand the frustration, but she has to throw all that out the window and go and try to chase the finish. Well, the bruising on her calf is really getting bad now, DC. Certainly, she can lean on the physical toughness, but I'm not sure she's going to be able to stand up much longer. She's got to try to get the takedown, John. She's got to get off her feet. She can barely stand. She's not able to move. She's got to get close, get to a clinch, to try to drag this fight to the floor. Shevchenko's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Takedown defense is there. Ninety 
seconds now to go in this one. What an absolute war. I mean, do we not have the best job in the world? I actually think they might run it back between these two women, but they have gone back and forth all night as we come down the stretch. In a very competitive fight, these two have really left it all out on the line. Both are injured. Both are beat up. Both look like this fight should have been done a long time ago. But you can never question the spirit of a fighter. And in these two women, we saw two absolute savages. Shevchenko's back in full mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, so her ground control. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, she's got an arm triangle here, and it looks tight. She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. What right. a fight! 25 minutes turned in. All right, so a title fight they'll be talking about deep into next week. We'll show you some highlights over those epic 25 minutes. But at the end of the day, I got to think the champion did enough to retain her title. She did enough to retain the title. It was a very close fight. It was a very competitive fight. But these are the two best fighters in the entire world. She was pushed to her limit. But she got the job done and should retain her title. Official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly the Preacher's Doctor. So your winner tonight, Holly Holm, the Preacher's Daughter. She's been a little bit up and down in her UFC career. She was certainly up here tonight.